Hello, hello, and welcome to my basis work to keep guide. These are the only bases I keep myself. I already find to many of them no space and interest to keep anything else. First, I'm gonna show you some armors, paladin shields. The only non paladin shield, but to keep helmets, weapons, mercenary weapons, and the special items which are actually the most valuable ones. All the normal armors you can keep three socket, four socket, and if you really need the two socket for stealth in early ladder, keep it. Otherwise, the two socket is not worth to keep. The armors are Arkham Blade, Wormhide, Mage Blade, Wire Fleece, Dusk Road, and Great Hauberg. These six armors are the ones you want to keep also as ethereal or non ethereal. Other armors Luck Red Blade, Shadow Blade, Bone Weave, Sacred Armor. You don't want these as non ethereal because they have high strength requirement. You probably in any character you won't have it. Maybe some barbarian board with beast axe you can use them, but otherwise no needed. No no. Don't use them. They're bad. <laughs> and the paladin shields. These are the best paladin shields to keep. You can of course if you need other ones keep them only on your own need and you don't let's say plus forty or resistances is worth to keep in sacred runners. Vortex shield Second room shield and quest shield, both of these. And the sacred target, these are the elite versions. The only non elite version, the expect general version I keep is the Akara Rondars for LLD Paladins. You can make the spirit into it. And the most valuable ones actually is the three socket in these shields, like this one. They are probably right now three higher on worth as three sockets for dragon and dream bases. Yeah, and all of these you can also keep as ethereal for exile. So the only non paladin shield with four sockets to keep is the monarch. There's Aegis and Ward, but they have strength requirements. The Aegis has over 200, and the Ward is almost 200 i believe it's 182 or at least close to it helmet bases the item demon head and burn seeds. these are like only worth to keep in ladder flicker and flame bases if you really want to make delirium in a non ladder feel free to keep them but it's not so usable the mercenary weapons, cryptic axe, colossus wall, grand treasure, and treasure. These are the most valuable ones, most wanted ones. You can keep them also as five socket. If you really have the need, or you know someone has the need, you have the space to keep the five socket. Especially if you have like 15 ED in five socket, it is your treasure. Keep it. Someone wants to make a doom into it. Elite weapons. What I usually keep is the face blade, berserk eggs, colossus blade, and from the bows, the grand matron bow. From face blade and berserk eggs, the six socket versions are also, but I don't keep them if I don't have ancient damage in those because you can use the large socket. It's too easy to get the six socket. It's not worth worth to keep in my mind. The five socket is always worth to keep. And Colossus played. Hmm, keep the five socket also here in Grand Macburn Bow. If you play ladder, you want to keep the five socket also. You can make mist, but you must make sure. That there's the plus three to bow and crossbow skills. That's the first thing to look. Ancient damage. Just a bonus. Just a bonus. CTA bases worth to keep. 
Deplox, Vorax, Crystal Sword, and Flail. And you can also, if you want, or find military picks as five socket CTA bases in CTA. Flail, five socket is not so valuable as CTA bases as the Crystal Sword or anything else, but four socket is for whole toll. And the special bases Cryptic Sword, Mythical Sword, and the Queen Quest Sword. You want to keep them as three socket in ladder. You can make the plugware for your Act 5 mercenary in these swords. And one sword is worth like Berun right now in Tridery, what I paid last time when I did 4 and Mythical, Digital Mythical Sword. I paid a Berun from it. Some people are asking even two Berun's, but that's way, way too much. Don't pay that much. Bone wand with bone spirit and bone spare. This is the ultimate one you are looking for when you want to make the white. Yeah, if you can have any usable third skill, that's going to be even better. This is gloves for plug watch house. Any club bases, I usually look for the plus. 3 lightning sentry, anything else is just bonus like mind blast fade. This is extremely good base. Probably like 10 higher was worth. And the druid pulse. This is for flickering flame. So these are also, which I'm going to show you, they are ladder only lunar verbs. Make sure you don't make them in no ladder. This is used for flickering flame, and here you are first looking for the plus 3 to Armageddon, that's like must have in my mind. Plus 3 Volcano, it's super nice bonus with the Grizzly, this is also probably like 15 higher on sword. This helmet is going to be for the new Runeward Metamorphosis in 2.6, where you want to have shape shifting skills. I chose the rabies, Heart of the Wolverine and Lycanthropy. This is going to be big money if you find it in ladder. Two obsession bases. Here you want to have like any usable skill. Usable skill what to use here is Blizzard with Cold Mastery and Frozen Armor. And I have here a uh, a fire version with plus 3 to meter, fire mastery and frozen armor. These are, I don't know, these are at least like 10 high runes each. And the Ashwood bow for 30 level Amazon Dwarf. But here you want to at least have like plus 10 engine damage with plus 3 the bow skills. Double bow, you must have the 15 ED here. This is used for low level dueling Amazon Insight. I have myself one with the uh, 15 ED, I have the Insight in it for TVT duels. So if you only have the four socket, it's not worth to keep. Look for the 15 ED. So all these super nice special bases. Remember, look plus three usable skills. This will lead you into this, which everyone is actually looking for. I don't do any magic find, I only look for the available bases. I keep my magic find low as possible. Enigma is the only magic find source right now. Yeah, that's it, that's it. That's the most valuable basis I recommend you guys to keep. Not worth look for anything else. This will make you rich. These six bases. Look for them. Pick up all the bar stuff, Archon stuff, any stuff which you can get six sockets, the druid belts, assassin bases and the ones. Stop looking for the shackles. Griffons. This will be like 100 Griffons.
so stop that's my advice <laughs> okay thank you for watching guys and i hope to see you watching my new videos or maybe you can check out my twitch stream sometime yeah goodbye guys